Okay, so in today's quick walkthrough, we're going to look at two questions. First one is when magnesium uh, chloride is added to silver nitrate, a white precipitate is formed. So we're going to start off by writing out the full equation for this. So we're going to have magnesium chloride uh, plus silver nitrate making uh, magnesium nitrate plus silver chloride. Now, what's happened here is these two ions here have switched places for the reaction to take place and we just need to go through and make sure this is balanced. So we've got uh, two chlorines on this side but only one chlorine on this side. So we'll stick a two here and a two here to balance those out. Now the next step is to identify which ones are here as aqueous ions. So the first part of the reaction is aqueous magnesium chloride. So this is an aqueous. Uh, silver nitrate is an aqueous solution. Magnesium nitrate is also aqueous. And silver chloride is the solid. Remember, this is the solid that we see when we're testing for halide ions. We'll then break apart this whole equation into its ions. So we'll have Mg2 plus plus two Cl minuses plus two silver ions plus two nitrate ions and then that will go to make one magnesium ion, two nitrate ions and the magnesium, sorry, the silver chloride which is staying as a solid. We can now quickly look through that and we can cancel across any ions that which are on both sides. So we'll cancel the magnesium here and the magnesium here and then we'll cancel the nitrate here and the nitrate here. And then we can write out a simpler ion equation, which is two chlorine ions plus two silver ions, making two silver chloride. Because this is all twos, we can now simplify that further to have one chlorine ion reacting with one silver ion to make one molecule of silver nitrate. Just add on the state symbols, so these are a Q here, and this is a solid. Okay, and that's how we did that first example. We'll look at the second example, we've got dilute sulfuric acid neutralized by sodium hydroxide, so we'll do the same process again. We'll write out the equation in full, so we've got H2SO4 plus NaOH making Na. 2SO4 sodium nitrate, so, so sodium sulfate and water. Now, just to balance that up, we need two of the sodium hydroxides and we're going to produce two of the waters on this side. We'll then split apart them into their ions, so we'll have 2H plus plus SO4 2 minus plus 2Na plus plus 2OH minus, uh, making Na, 2Na plus, plus 1SO4, 2 minus, and then the water is a liquid, so we'll stay as H2O, two lots off. So if we then go through and look at the ions which we're going to cancel, we've got uh, the sodium ions on this side and on this side, so we'll get rid of those. And we've got sulfur ions on this side and this side, and then we're left with just the waters, the hydrogen and the water. So now we'll put 2H plus plus 2OH minus makes 2H2O. And we can simplify it down like we did in the previous question, where we'll have H plus plus OH minus making H2O. Brilliant. I hope you found that little walkthrough useful. And remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.